Hello, beautiful people. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like damn, she and her move. Like I'm back again. Before we even get it. Record now, niggas want to be outside cutting grass. I done already made two of it. I made my TikTok, I made my how I style my boho braids separate video. Now they want to cut grass. Hell no, hmm. beat it. Hmm. I'll beat it. I have one more video to do just this smoke session with y'all. Let me close the window and see if that helps because if not, I'm gonna have to wait till they finish. Okay, so it doesn't sound that bad. Hopefully I could talk over it, but that's just unacceptable. It's like I want to make a video right now, but I don't want to have to compete with the lawnmowers outside. And I already know when y'all playing it back, whether it's y'all headphones or y'all listen to it out loud, y'all don't want to hear that in the background. It's not a chicken salad, but yeah. I just want to show y'all my hair real quick. Mm, so make sure you guys go watch the styling video because I tried a different a couple different styles To see how I would like them on myself because the braids are growing on me like the braids are braiding Okay, they're doing what they need to do. I'm getting so many compliments So many motherfucking questions. I gotta drop a whole video with every single detail that y'all needed to know with the boho pieces who braided my hair how much it was and all of that in the video before this in my vlog my maintenance vlog but that's okay because it's always expected. Every time I do something different, niggas always ask me questions like I don't drop videos every single time I do something new. But yeah, like I said, the hair is growing on me. I really, really like it on myself. And yeah, I'm glad I tried something different. I do want to do a smoke session with you guys right now because it's been like how long since we did the smoke session? A good week since I posted. So yeah, I just got off work today. Like I said, I already made my TikTok video on how I style my hair with these braids. And I also made a YouTube video for y'all. They are two weeks old. And I'm really mad about this lawnmower, okay? It's pissing me off, but it's like, I don't wanna go over there, sit down, get comfortable and shit, because then I'm gonna end up smoking, and then it's like, I'm gonna do a smoke session that I don't already smoke. Like, I really only wanted to make a regular sit down video because it's like, I'm really feeling myself right now. Like, I haven't had a lick of makeup on my face, and I don't know how long. My skin is doing what she needs to do. Like, I love the braids on myself. It's giving very much natural motherfucking daddy come correct yeah and mm -hmm. i need to be in somebody's water besides all of that though i do have a lot to tell you guys to catch you guys up on let you guys know the tea on everything but i'm conflicted between just letting y'all know everything once i'm done rather than letting y'all know before i actually get everything completed because it's just so many negative miserable people and it's like i'd rather just pop out and let everybody know everything that i did when i'm done doing it like because that was my goal to myself like i'm done telling people my plans or what i'm gonna do even if it's down to a hairstyle because you know how people get when it comes to shit like that but I did want to touch up with you guys. Nah, that's how you know. Give me very much something. I'm feeling myself. But I'm about to just light the blunt and get into it because if we keep waiting for this guy to finish mowing this damn lawn, we'll be here for a minute. Forever, probably. I do also want to mention that we are growing at a rapid rate. I just went from having a thousand and like... 17 subscribers to literally almost 1300 in less than a month and it's just mind-blowing to me how fast like every day i check my page i got another five to ten new subscribers and it's like i definitely appreciate it make sure you guys keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting keep being engaged in my channel i love it i like the fact that i'm growing so welcome to my new subscribers hey girl hey if you don't know who i am i'm cc nice to meet you nice to meet me I know. And yeah. I love my hair. Like, I really want to try them in burgundy or do the 613 mix before the summer's over. But we'll see because my hair's already two weeks old. And y'all know what my hair texture like. My roots is already wavy. Like, mm -mm. so I'll probably keep these in for maybe a month, month and a half, depending on how good they're going. Because right now, they're not that bad. The way i um been maintaining it with just a little bit of water running my fingers through it every morning, it's been pretty good. 
I think they're done mowing the lawn. I just heard it go off. It's like, I don't need this video to be mad long because it's mad hot in here. I had to turn my AC off, but y'all know New York is in a heat wave right now, so it's hot as fuck. So let me just hurry up and get to smoking so that way we can just get through with this video because it's about to be a random hot thoughts video. JT dropped her album today. What do you guys think? For those who have listened to it already, I got a couple songs on it I like already. JT coming is definitely cute. <sighs> I'm just feeling good. I've been in such of a better spirit since the last time I spoke to you guys and that was literally like a week ago. Like the time, the shit can change in a day. Like shit can change in 24 hours. Like what I've been telling myself for real is to just let shit go. Like I feel like that's why I've always, not always, but like most of the time I'm always mad. Cause I'm holding on to shit or I'm worried about shit that literally doesn't matter so. When I say I've been focusing on myself and just what CC wants, what CC want to do, like what's my next step, what's my next goal for myself. That's literally all I've been focusing on and it's been working out super well for me. Like as you can see in my face, just like everybody's been saying it like, oh, you're glowing. You just look mad happy. Like I can tell. No, I'm not getting no dick. So it ain't that. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Per. But yeah, it's just. I've just been worried about me and getting myself to the goal that I have for myself. And so far it's looking like it's gonna get there. And it's just like, I don't know, I think that's what got me so pumped up and motivated cause it's just like, y'all don't even know what's coming. Like I've talked about it a couple times in some of my other videos, y'all probably could guess of what the next um, goal for myself is. But I'm just excited. Like I wish, you know, if you're anything like me, it's like the journey is the most important part of anything you go through because the journey is where you create the memories, the journey is where you get all your stories to tell, like the journey is the journey. But I'm the type of person to where whenever I have a goal for myself or if I just think like, oh, I want to do this, my problem is I want to just wake up and be there already. Like I just want to, okay, this is what I want to do next. Okay, so this is how it should go. Like, no, girl, you got to work your way to that point, you know, slowly but surely get to that and it's just like I have to I gotta stop I gotta have some patience and like do stuff as I can as I go not stress myself out just thinking like damn like I said just yesterday I wanted to do this and it's been a whole 24 hours and I still don't got it done yet like girl cut yourself some slack give yourself a break relax it's gonna happen when it needs to happen cuz Every time I get so worked up and so rah, rah, rah about something, everything just falls into place right when it needs to. Like, God is never late. He's always right on time. And when I tell y'all he's been right on time, I cannot be mad. I'm just forever grateful for everything that I have right now. Things are expanding. Things are growing. And it's just like, I'm just excited to see where these changes are really going to take me. Because it's just like, I'm good with my job that I have now and everything like that. But... It's just so much tea that I want to get into without talking so vaguely to y'all. So it's like, I don't even want to touch on it because I'm just feel like, fuck it, let me just say it. But it's just like, nah. I want to wait till I actually get things done, get things in motion, get my plan in motion before I just spill the beans. No, I'm not knocked up. Let's get that question out the way. Gotta be getting sick to be knocked up. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Per. But yeah. I just been feeling good. I came on here to spread some positive energy, some positive vibes today. I was thinking about hot box in my bathroom because it's been a while since I actually did a hot box. And I don't want to smoke in my car. I just got my car back this morning because they had it overnight because they needed to fix my AC. Like I was telling y'all in my last video. And this was like the longest 24 hours without a car ever. And it's like, y'all know me. I go to work and I come home and I park my car up anyway. But it's just like the fact that it's not outside just in case I want to go drive somewhere, go do something. I think that's what really blows minds. Like, I can't just get up and go. But, yeah. Now we back in action with that. I didn't even want to record that whole process of me having to drop the car off and stuff like that. Because it's just like, bleh. I was upset that I even had to leave it there i thought they could just i could go in make my appointment they fix it and then i could leave no they talk about oh you're gonna have to get your car back tomorrow it's like this is gonna take some time but everything was covered under my warranty and i didn't have to pay so it's like i'm not even really mad about anything honestly but yeah that's really all that's been going on i've been going to work loving my hair 
dropped my car off, got my AC fixed. I do want to do some hygiene shopping with you guys because I'm running out of little stuff in my house that I do need to pick up. So maybe I'll do that Sunday. Sunday morning or Monday morning because I am off on Sunday and Monday like I told y'all before. So make sure y'all look out for that hygiene shopping vlog. And that's really all I got to do for right now. I got to go get me some boxes. I need to go get that too. I don't know. I guess I'll just make a vlog, a weekly vlog or a vlog that day of whatever I decide to do of all the errands I have to run. Y'all know me. But, yeah. Life's been... Life's been lifing. And not in a negative way. I've just been chilling, minding my business. Like, if it don't benefit me, if it's some bullshit I don't want to hear, if it's somebody else's bullshit, it's just like... I just, mm, fuck it, brush it off the shoulder and I keep going by my day. Like, I don't got shit to be worried about. I'm literally just chilling. Chilling because it's like, I know where I'm going. I know what goals I have set for myself. And everything's working out in my favor. So it's like, I don't even have anything to be salty about. My bills is caught up. Everything is good. Like, I'm chilling, going to work. And that's all I'm doing. I do want to do a photo shoot this week as well. So I might take y'all to go do that with me. If I have time on Monday to do that and yeah before I get up off here though because I don't even want any of my videos that I did today to be too long I just want to show y'all the songs that I downloaded off JT's new album so far that I'm feeling I guess I'll just include a screenshot and put it on the side so y'all can see the songs but I downloaded a calm little calm little four five song <laughs> But this song right here, like what? And she dropped a video for it as well. Like if you know me, you know I love any type of old school remix, whether it's a drill beat, calm, slow beat, whatever it is. I love when people remix old songs, like old R&B songs. That just put me in, I can't even describe the mood because y'all know I'm a music crackhead. So it's just like, oh, it just puts me in such a great mood. Then I watched the video and the video just went with it so perfectly. Like JT is doing her motherfucking big one. I didn't want this video to be, um, about any of the celebrity tea because I know we do separate videos for that but I just had to say that real quick because I was listening to her album on my way home from work and I'm just like she got a couple cute songs on here I can't front like and then she when I got home I watched the video on YouTube and I'm just like I'm gonna show y'all my favorite part Gucci lingerie on my pussy of course chew my panties off it's a part of the course lick it till I'm numb her in the bed, all white, tiara on, very much Cinderella. She just, uh, I just love that. I love the fact that everybody is just doing their big one and trying to prosper and get to the next step. Like, I love positivity. Like, when you come from being a negative Nancy or you come from a world full of fucking negative Nancys and then you just around just a lot of positive vibes, people that want to do what you want to do, just good energy, networking, shit like that. Like, that shit feel good because everybody talk this get money talk, but nobody's really getting any fucking money. Um, chill. Anyway, so. So it's just like, when you finally get to that step and you in a room full of people who is thinking like that, it's just like, oh. Like, take me. It's like, you could literally taste how close you are to where you want to be. And that's where Big Double C is at right now. And I just want to let y'all know I'm in a good mood today. So I hope everybody has a great day. And yeah. Make sure I go bump JT out with me. Y'all tell me what songs y'all like. So if I didn't listen to it yet, I could download it too. I'm in tune with everybody. I love music. So old, old, young, new, old, rap, R&B, country, or like pop. I love it all. If it's good, it's good. I just feel like I have an ear for music anyway. But let me show y'all my bow. I don't know if I showed y'all already. But this is the bow that I got from Amazon that I got for the pack for my birthday. And it's just like, this shit is so cute. Like, it just makes me feel so dainty, so girly, so pretty. Y'all know I'm in my, like, tennis skirt phase, so I can't wait to do my photo shoot. 
And I also got this new habit of doing this with these fucking braids. Like, ever since I got my hair done, these two in the front, I just be... Like, this shit probably lost so much boho from me just pulling on it. Like, mm-mm. But, yeah. I don't know if I want to show you the outfits in this video or not. It's like, I might as well. But it's like, I don't want this video to be too long. It's probably already going to be, like, 15 fucking 20 minutes. Maybe I'll just do a separate video, small little mini haul, so I can show y'all what I got. Because I don't buy this outfit anyway. I don't care if y'all go over it. So, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you to my new subbies. I see y'all. Keep subbing. Make sure you send it to your mother, your grandmother, your auntie. Make sure everybody motherfucking subscribes. And that's it for our little smoke session for today. And I'm going to see y'all in my next. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn.